All right, so I got to give a little commentary on uh, both of those videos. You see next to the red car, right? I don't know what that was supposed to be. I noticed it this morning. Now, not now, just I noticed that both back windows are open. All right. So when I got to that store in the other short video I'm about to post, uh, there was a, well, you see it, a door wide open, right? Nobody in sight. I don't know if they was in the store at the time, but how do you leave? You ever left that? I've never left my door open. Unlocked? Yeah, we all have done that. Wide the fuck open like that? I don't know what the fuck that was supposed to mean. But with these weirdos, who knows? And like I said, the reason I noticed this one because it was like 27 last night. So who was riding around with their windows down? 27 degree weather. But uh, I don't know what that's supposed to symbolize. These motherfuckers are crazy. Just like uh, in the last video, right quick, that I just made... Uh, that's why I haven't uploaded it yet. It's only about a minute and a half long, but I wanted to get it while it's fresh. So they, there's a reason they part like that. And the other day, two days ago, another woman was part like that. And, and she was coming out the store. So, you know, they, it, it goes back to what I'm saying. But see, I guess they're gang stalkers, so they don't have to worry about a random cop. But they do. Well, that video, I other, that well, not video, but that that list I posted a couple of weeks back, maybe over a month, where they described some of the terms. You know, they got they. You know, we know that they're cops who aren't part of. They got code names for the ones who aren't part of this program. You know. So if one happened to pop up, what would what would have happened? And what I'm saying is, even though she wasn't, she probably would have tried to jump back in. No, I'm, I'm fin I was only here a minute. I'm finna, you know, whatever. I'm just see now. There's nothing happened, but I'm saying I'm, you just can speculate what would have happened. And it could have could have been another situation. It had all the protests, and all, and all she had to do was just park straight. Or either just take the ticket, if that's what he decided to do. If he going that far, oh well. Yeah, it, it, that is bullshit to them, you know. It is. You could have let me, but most of us smart people know, instead of getting into the point and doing shit like that, like you, whoever you think you is, and parking like that, then trying to get out of it because it was, I was only in for two minutes, and or this and that, just accept it and learn from it, shit. I guess I won't part like this no more, you know. Instead, of trying to pull the, the, you know, pull all these type of different cards, you know. Oh, I'm just, uh, you know, batting your eye because you're a female or the, you're black. And, oh, I'm, it's because I'm black. You messing with me now, nah, motherfucker? Park straight. Or either take your goddamn charge. Don't pull the rest of us down in this shit. You know, like we say, we get on anybody else that makes shit hot. Why? Why they not doing that like they used to do in the old days, nigga? You around here making it hot for everybody. You know, you got to tighten up. People would take care of you in the neighborhood. And I don't mean take care in a good way if you fucking it up for everybody else. You know, you making it hot around this bitch. Sit your ass, you know. Shit, if you can't, normally nobody will fuck with you. Do what you do, but you making it hot for everybody. You know, you, whatever. Like I said, so you, nowadays, all these youngsters and 30-somethings, 40 something professionals, out here making it hot for everybody. Getting into arguments instead of just taking your fucking charge. Yeah, he could have let you go. Some of them are offenses where he could have gave you a warning. Can't you give me a warning? Motherfucker said no. He giving you this goddamn ticket. That's not you bowing down. Literally, it's up to them. And it's up to you to not get in that situation. And like I said, if he literally was just fucking with you and you didn't genuinely do anything wrong, it should be on dash cam and on his fucking, on the the, the vest cam or whatever you want to call it. So, 
And you can say, well, conveniently, his da- his uh, vest cam, it, well, it, if he pulls you over, his dash cam working. The vest cams is new. Dash cam been around. I mean, quit trying to make excuses. Like I said, take your fucking charge. Quit making it hot, hot for everybody. Now, back to this. Uh, the, the, the gang started, like I said, with, with the white truck. See, when she got out, she literally looked at, like, again, they, they feel, you can tell some of them starting to feel guilty because, I guess, because the videos I put out, they're not mad. They, uh, you know, you can tell the look, it, it was like shame, you know, that I'm like, ain't no need to look at me, you know, because you know it's finna go down, you know, I'm finna, like, I ain't finna do nothing, nothing, but I'm just finna record you and make fun of you. And actually, I wasn't waiting on her to come back out. It just, that's how much I was talking. And so she, she went in there real fast and happened to come back out. But like I said, when she got out, she also, like I said, while I was uh, pumping gas, she she pulled up crooked like that. Instead of straightening out, she stayed like that because that was that symbol for for whatever. They, they just started this this week. The other one at the other store who was part like that. It was a supermarket I always go to, right? And uh, the motherfucker uh, was coming out, and I wouldn't have seen it because it was too many cars. So they literally had to blow their horn just, and the car was in motion. So she just blowing her horn in the parking lot. And and I knew, you know, that I'm like, why in the fuck? And, and then I'm looking, like, she was starting to get more. She would, so she would part just the same as that white vehicle. If I still got it, I didn't upload it. I'ma upload it, but I might have deleted it because this was two days ago. But and look, you see how they, the handler told the uh, uh, retard right there. <laughs> he, he's talking about us. So I guess that red car I, I, that you'll see in the right before this video, I'm not even gonna upload it. To those two are loaded up. Oh, uh, it was a a point. You know, like I said, there's no such thing as coincidence, you know. And if the window, like I said, the window was still down from earlier, that mean they ain't been out here till just now. Because the window's in the other video I just uploaded, that 30-minute one from today. It's a, that's a new upload. I didn't say anything, but I noticed it. It's like they're, 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 at least the niggas, the, the, the white folks involved, they're not... And you know, I don't, I'm not on go go by uh, new terms, but you know, is that is that white privilege thing actually is real? <laughs> you know, seriously, because they're not worried. I think they're getting worried, and the, the white folks involved, they still pull up on me, no no problem. Just just now, they you know they pull up, they 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 ain't got no shame. They hop out, the, you know, the gangs they'll pull up behind me. You know, they ain't got no, no shit. You know, they ain't worried about it. I'm white motherfucking. Shit, what the, shit, what the police gonna do to me? And no, this is not me. You just said you don't subscribe. No, trust me, some things are, you, that's, that, that's the whole point of what I'm talking about. About you a nigga, you don't have the luxury of parking cricket or parking in the handicap spot and just running in and trying to talk your way out of a ticket if there if a cop does happen to come and you're like, oh, it is you could just give me a warning. How about just don't and it really isn't that hard. A lot of us been doing it for decades. It doesn't make your life worse. It isn't that hard. Hell, like they say, some you need if, if there aren't no parking spots up close. Some of you need to park further away from where your destination is to lose some fucking weight. So, you know, it really doesn't make things that much harder. You know, shit, there ain't no parking spot, so you got to drive around the block a couple more times. Whatever, but park in the right spot. Instead of parking somewhere where you're going to get a ticket. You know. Shit, it really doesn't make your life any harder. You know, they're not. There's no way they're trying to be overlords. No, they're not. No, trust me. It's just you won't even notice. It's just that much. Instead of I'm just, I'm, 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 you know, you're not Queen of Sheba. You don't get to do what you want. Mm. 
but yeah uh, so that that white one that was just the white truck and you park in it's always like that no that, you know that's a fucking no no it don't matter if you're straight cause it don't matter if it, you know everything's up to date cause you gonna you gonna be mad about that little $80 t- ticket that's probably all it would have cost cause they probably been like you just send the money in you know that's why he was gonna give it to you instead of getting your warning shit ain't that big a deal just send it in you know now your points going up on your insurance shit like that see what I'm saying just dumb shit I don't think but you part of this program and again you gotta do dumb shit see what I'm saying uh yeah, but keep it up, keep it up. But it's funny to see a lot of y'all getting nervous. Like I said, the white truck, when the white truck parked, first of all, they stayed there because I guess they thought I was going to leave. But they, they, like I said, they don't tell y'all idiots. You know what? Um, okay, when I see you specifically, because I was about to leave, but that means, you know, they timed it. So and instead of jumping out like a normal person, they sat in there. Okay, now I know you're scared. Not because I'm going to do something, but... <laughs> And then she finally, she got out. You know, I ain't know who it was, a dude or a girl. And, you know, looked at me. And I said out loud, I said, there ain't no need. Don't look back here. Ain't no need to look at me. You already know what's going down. And I, I was referring to I was finna start filming. Nothing like uh, I was finna do anything else. But, you know, ain't nothing I can do but start filming. But, yeah, I guess that's what I'm saying. They putting the word out. This nigga recording this. And laughing at us, and like I said, I know niggas, the males and the females, they don't like that shit being laughed at. Nobody does, you know, of any race, but especially us. It being called stupid and fucking idiot, dumbass nigga, you trying to get yourself killed. The motherfuckers though, especially nowadays, they done brainwashed these motherfuckers into thinking they bulletproof and tough, and you know, the rest of us, we know better. So why, how come? It was good enough for us to learn, but y'all so special. Y'all are supposed to just, you know, whatever. Reckless everywhere. And then they telling you that we're the ones that's reckless. <laughs> y'all crazy as fuck. I'll tell you that shit. You see, it's going away real fast. It was like a fad. You know how like a hit song comes in, sells all these fucking records, hundreds of millions, but that's all they got. And you never hear from them again. <laughs> that's how this whole program is. <laughs> like a one-hit wonder. Coming in fast and shit like that, but it just ain't. It can't. It just can't sustain it. It just doesn't make. It goes against everything. We might have technology that they didn't have thousands of years ago, but everything else, as as logic and and emotions, stay the same. So y'all acting crazy, and all this shit is not gonna last. So I don't know what y'all gonna do.